I know all the girls and boys round the globe. I know their parents, their homes, their names. Why, I even know your name. Six-year-old Kalen was a good kid. The boy had just received a camera for his sixth birthday, and he set about taking photos of everything from the neighborhood dogs to the kickballs lying in the grass. With his attention so firmly focused on his prized camera, Kalen didn't notice that all the while, someone else was watching him. Of course, like all excitable six-year-old children, Kalen wasn't the most careful. One afternoon, the boy is running excitedly through the grass when he trips over a stick, breaking his prized camera in the process. The device still takes photos, but they're distorted and weird. Kalen was devastated. Upset at both the loss of his camera as well as himself for being so irresponsible with such a precious gift, the boy found himself lying awake that night, unable to sleep. It was well past midnight when Kalen suddenly heard a knock on his window. And there stood on the other side of Kalen's bedroom window a large winged creature. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like this thing one bit. Hello there, young lad greeted the creature. I'm the Kipsneed, your sleep fairy. Sleep fairy? That is correct. The Kipsneed, a strange butterfly-like creature who claims it's his responsibility to ensure that all the children of the world get a good night's sleep. Being a sleep fairy, the Kipsneed is aware that Kalen hasn't been sleeping, and he asks him why. My job is to make sure you get a good night's sleep. But it's come to my attention that you haven't been resting at all lately. I'd like to know the reason why. Fortunately, Kalen isn't that naive, and he questions the legitimacy of the Kipsneed's tale. My parents told me not to talk to strangers. However, the Kipsneed is undeterred, insisting that he's no stranger at all. Strangers? I'm no stranger. I know all the girls and boys around the globe. I know their parents, their homes their names. Why, I even know your name, Kalen. Now, would a stranger know your name? Kalen thought on it for a moment. No, I guess not. Kalen is wary, but he's more upset about his camera, and he finally relents, explaining his circumstances to the creature. If you must know why I'm awake, it's my camera. It's broken. And just like that, tears welled up in Kalen's eyes. Let me see. Thank you for watching my video. You don't have to subscribe to my channel, although if you don't, it means you hate this puppy and this kitten. Fortunately for Kalen, the Kipsneed has a solution. Why don't I get this camera fixed for you? Perhaps that would help you sleep easier. You could do that? Of course, and I know just the place. A factory in my home world. I'll lead you to the portal. Just follow my voice. And the Kipsneed disappeared into the night. At this point, Kalen wakes his parents and tells them that there's a strange creature trying to lure him out of his bedroom. Oh, never mind. He just goes off into the woods. In the middle of the night. What a brilliant kid. As the child walks, he snaps a series of photos to help him find his way. His camera is broken, but it's still usable enough for this purpose. Interestingly, he never sees the Kipsneed. Kalen is guided by the creature's voice alone. Over here. Just follow my voice. Eventually, the boy reaches an abandoned old house deep in the woods. He snaps a photo of it and actually starts to have second thoughts about continuing when suddenly he hears a voice calling from inside. The portal to my home world's inside. Come along. I must have my camera fixed. Kalen was scared, but he was also determined. 
However, at this point, things begin to get very strange as the cartoon switches to a sequence of photos taken from Kaylin's perspective. This isn't the first time this happens in the tape, but all of the other photographs retained the Tiny Toes TV watermark in the bottom right corner. It was like those photographs were supposed to be part of the cartoon. Now though, the watermark has disappeared entirely. What, what exactly are we watching? Kaylin unlocks an entryway under the house's staircase, which leads to a cellar. In one of the following photographs, we can see the Kipsneed floating in the entryway, beckoning the child closer. Then, it's gone. We see Kaylin descending further and further into the basement. Something is wrong. This is just a dark, scary, decrepit basement. There's no portal to any homeworld here. Even worse, the Kipsneed is nowhere to be found, and without its voice to lead the boy, Kalen finds himself alone in silence. Some weeks later, authorities discovered the basement. The rest of the boy was never found. At first glance, Grumbled Entertainment's The Kid in the Camera seems pretty straightforward. It presents itself as a supernatural horror story before things come crashing back to Earth with the reveal that there was no Kipsneed. There was no creature that knows all the boys and girls in the world. Obviously, right? Presumably, this guy has been stalking Kalen for quite some time. He climbs onto the boy's roof, lowers down the Kipsneed puppet, and lures the child into the night. This would explain why Kalen can't see the Kipsneed as he walks through the woods. There'd be no way for it to move around in front of him. It is, after all, just a puppet. Instead, Kalen is lured all the way to the house by a voice. Just follow my voice. Over here, the portal to my home world's inside. Come along. We do get one last look at the Kipsneed as Kalen descends into the basement, but it's just kind of hanging in an entryway, shrouded in darkness. Considering it doesn't appear in any of the subsequent photos, I'm inclined to believe that it was just strung up there, staring motionless at the boy, inviting him to descend the staircase. Furthermore, throughout the whole tape, we get the feeling that Kalen is being watched. Look at this scene where he walks into the abandoned house. Notice the perspective. It's shot from between two bushes on a hill overlooking the entryway. It definitely gives the impression that someone is hiding there, watching the boy under the cover of darkness, waiting. Finally, we have the name Kipsneed, which is obviously something, right? I looked around, and the best interpretation I found was that it's a play on the brand name Kidsneed, a brand that makes baby monitors. This perhaps symbolizes the man's stalking of Caleb. He does go as far as to watch the boy sleep, after all. We certainly have a ton of camera imagery throughout the tape. I mean, it is called the kid in the camera, after all. Between Kalen's camera, all the weird stalking implications, the Kips Needs name reference, the still shots that just don't really make sense in the context of a low-budget stop-motion children's special, it's like we're seeing something that we aren't supposed to. I drew attention to the Tiny Toe TV watermark in the corner earlier. Knowing how the episode ends, I can't help but wonder if that name, Tiny Toe, is more than just a coincidence. Perhaps the channel is run by some who has a fascination with acquiring tiny toes. Although that kind of makes it sound like this is just a guy who's really into feet, and that's weird. Either way, it's pretty unnerving to imagine that behind these broadcasts are true tales of innocent victims who fell prey to the scariest monster of all, another human being. Except, there's one problem. So we have a guy who's stalking kids, luring them out of their homes using a weird butterfly puppet, then taking their toes and possibly creating and maybe even narrating a children's cartoon about these incidents. Seems pretty cut and dry, right? There's just one problem. When Kalen tells the Kipsneed that his camera is broken, for a split second we see the creature glance sideways, suspiciously. That doesn't make any sense. Sure, maybe the stalker on the roof would be smiling evilly to themselves, but his puppet wouldn't be. Unless... It isn't a puppet. Let me see. Perhaps there's more going on here than I realized. Anyway, go watch the tape if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.